But guys settle for y'all all the time. Yeah. Like y'all, y'all not our first pick. You know what I'm saying? In a general sense, y'all not like like y'all flawed the fuck up. And so when yeah. you when you see a lot of these guys and they wind up saying, All right, I'm rocking with you or whatever, for some reason, y'all think that y'all just qualify for that guy. Ask him. And he may even be you told me no, so I knocked on Trigger's door instead. Sometimes. But it's not about being the first pick. That's what's wrong with y'all, man. Y'all think y'all got to be. Give me a second for a second. Ask him. Don't even ask him directly. Don't say, hey, was I your first pick? Ask him about, like, observe and listen to him when he's talking about his previous conquests or relationships and shit. And then think to yourself, do I really compare or do I measure up? And ask him to be honest about his experiences, not just why he broke up and stuff. A lot of guys absolutely 100% settle. They see something in you different that may make you different, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you meet the same expectations and other categories that he then was like, you know what? That's I'm not even going to worry about that part over there. I'm going to just roll with this part over here because – Maybe you've got the characteristics of being a great mother, or maybe you nurturing, or maybe you smart as fuck. But that don't necessarily mean that you met that you meet the expectations. So they they adjust and they learn you and they learn to get attracted to you from other things, your mind, or you know, familiarity breeds attraction a lot of times or whatever. But for some reason, I don't know if y'all think that y'all just all of that, but 98% of y'all, somebody settled for you too. It ain't nothing it wrong with settling. Good. All settling means it, it's nothing wrong with it. Everybody settles. That's why it's called settling down. Settling down. Yeah. That's literally where it comes from. That's why it's called settling down. Nobody is gonna check one thousand percent of every single box that everybody got. That's not. That's not realistic. But it's just like an all or nothing thing when it comes oh. to these conversations because I'm not saying that you got to be the finest. But that's what I'm saying. There's levels to it. Like, I I think a lot of guys, I think most guys are cute, probably. But if a guy is super unattractive to me, personally, I'll, I'll still give them a chance if they're being intentional because I'm just a nice person. But I would rather not if I'm just not attracted at all in certain cases. Like, it's it's just a level and that's of why you don't miss your dude. To be there. Don't miss your dude. And but but men are are encouraged to do that. Like you you should be attracted to the woman that you want to be men, with. But men need I'm, to be attracted I'm, to I'm the saying, woman. That's what I'm saying too. It's it's, it's not going to be your best one. Like just because the one you dated before was an eight, right? And you judge me as a five. <laughs> Like, I'm not going to compare myself to her. I might have better qualities. And I'm fine with that. Like, as long as you find attraction in me, that is all that is needed. And so I need to find attraction in you. It don't, you don't have to be the best. And it's that's where same, I think trigger. the disconnect is. Trigger, it's not the same. Attraction for a woman and attraction for a man is not the same. Look, y'all got Jenny right back to the white community. Yeah, it's still fucked up over here. No, over there is the same thing. If, if not, if not, yeah, I would, I would not, not work. Hold on, Trigger. Hold on, Trigger. Hold on, Trigger. Oh, Hold on, Trigger. Oh, we got, we got to share the mic, baby. Go ahead, Carrie. I wasn't saying nothing. Please say something. We just want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like say something, Carrie. We need you, love. Hold <laughs> on. Why do you feel it's different in the white community? It. Was that trigger or was that 2K? That's I think it's trigger. I just said you was riding back to the white community and let them know we still fucked up. Okay. But it's okay. Let, let, let's hit the topic. Anything but trigger. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you a lot, bro. But, but realistically, all right. So let me let me back up because she was. <laughs> I think that the original topic was paying, right? And she was talking about paying. I don't understand why women think that guys are supposed to court them the same way that they was courting them even 10, 15 years ago, even 20 years ago. Like the whole chivalry, pulling out the chair, dude simping out and putting his his coat over the water or some dumb shit. Guys taking y'all out and, and paying for the whole date. I don't agree with that now. I just don't. I don't, I don't think that that's the way in which y'all are supposed to find a person that y'all attracted to. And if you force a woman into that situation, then she'll start to get a little bit more creative because she ain't trying to spend no money on your ass either. Man, so I think that if you find a woman that's willing to actually share in that 
and willing to actually, you know what I'm saying, not complain about spending money and all of that, but she just want to be around you, then that's the person that you probably should start paying attention to. But women that require you to spend a bunch of money to be around them or take you on dates and shit, or even if even here's a, here's a better one. If a woman, if you say, hey, where you want to go? Right. Or, you know, what did you have in mind or something like that? And she mm -hmm. says something super fucking expensive. Let her go, bro. Mm -hmm. Let her go. You're never going to be able to maintain that shit. And how you start off is how you got to maintain. You're never going to be able to stay in that same lane, bro. Yeah. So what, what's a good first date, though, Anton? A park. Like, uh, in 2024. A park. What, you said what's a good first date? Free day at the museum. A who? What'd she say? Museum. That's a good day, too. I like museum. Free day at the museum, even. Yeah. Um, in Detroit, we got the Detroit Institute of Arts, which is really, really dope. And if you live in any of the three counties, it is. We pay for it with our tax dollars, so that's free. Now, I don't think that you should go there because she don't know nothing about no art. She, she dumb as fuck. So take her to somewhere that's more more aligned with her her uh, culture. Take her to the zoo. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> I'll do that. That would just be like it. I love art and culture. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, bro. She don't know nothing about fine art. But go riding bikes downtown. Yeah, do something I, different. If I had to trigger, go for a walk. Will be no, bro. The zoo is fun. Take her to the zoo. Yeah. I take I'll take you like if I would date somebody like trigger, I think I'll take her to like the uh, vet so she can get all her shots. And then we go from there. Why y'all keep coming at Trigger like that? Huh? She's not talking about Trigger. We're not talking about Trigger. He said Trigger name. He literally oh, just but said Trigger seriously, though, I, this, this some shit that I want to do because my wife put me on. Like, I, I, I go take a chick, go get my feet done with her. And then, like, we talk while we both are getting our feet done. That's cute. My That's creative. All we want is creativity and intentionality. That's all women want. Honestly, My at the end of the day, to the park and we play Uno for about two hours and just oh, see, now, uh, uh, anything uh, that's different. Stop taking these women to a restaurant. Do something different. Try to be a little creative. That's listen, all, and you're gonna get yeah, points. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, listen. If you really want to test her out, bring her to the bring her to the around the fam on a holiday, bro. Like at the oh, barbecue. Hey, nah. no, the no, fam no, first date. Not on the first date. My, yes, my listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what your I'm family will let you know. Man, this ain't about meeting my family. This ain't no, what y'all thought that bringing her around a family is like her getting in? That's not what that means. Bringing her around a family and the barbecue and, and leaving her around just seeing how she interact. Yo, because my family is different. Like, we a joke on you. We going to jones on you. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you can adapt or if you easily offended or some shit like that, see how she operates. See how, see how she is. That's that's a dope a dope environment because you know like my grandma she don't give a fuck so she gonna tell you you look like a slut and shit like that like my grandma yeah yeah so, so it's 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 a like just taking her to the barbecue or whatever or whatever y'all y'all linking up or whatever over auntie man we, we that didn't mean that she was mean that didn't mean that she was a girl that just mean that she was a plus one. No, nah, Anton, you gotta understand. Like my my grandma and them, they start whooping her ass in that motherfucker. Like <laughs> I don't know, cause if she can't take the joke, she might get mad and try to pop off. Yeah, you say right. your grandmother would call her a slut? Yeah, my grandma ain't no. Like my it. grandma would be like, "You dress, you dressing just like a slut." Yeah, my grandma didn't have no filter, cause yeah, my, grandma had a filter. my grandma don't. My grandma all, don't care. care. You bringing them heifers over here? Yeah, grandma ain't had no filter, bro. <laughs> Every time my grandmother would see a woman with red lipstick, she'd be like, "Oh, she, she a hooker or a harlot." She never yeah. like she had no problem telling that to your face. Y'all, nobody with parents and, and elders in y'all's life is my grandma was sweet. That's like my high. grandmother is a sweetheart. She was. Yeah, my grandmother was sweet and not to other people. <laughs> my grandmother was sweet to me, not to other people though. And even with you know, even with me, she I remember I brought one girl to my grandma's house, and they freaking love the heck out of that woman on Sunday dinner after church. Well, nah, she got on that church group call and talked about that white woman bad. My my grandmother, she she, she both like she don't she gonna be nice, months. but then at the same time, she gonna be like, cover cover up. What's wrong? What's what's going on with you? Like she just gonna be real. She just gonna tell you what's happening. 
And if you're easily offended, then that's cool too. That's we wouldn't we don't we don't laugh at you. No, a grandmother saying cover up is way different than somebody calling somebody a mm -hmm. slut. If well, you dress like a slut, she gonna say you dress like a slut. Oh, she probably say Jezebel. No, no she gonna say you dress like a slut. <laughs> Jezebel is a is a slut. So that's my grandma say Jezebel. She was a oh, fake. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's wrong with? Okay, so wait a minute. If you dress like a slut, why would you be offended at somebody saying you dress like a slut? I mean, I'm talk I'm talking specifically about you saying it. It sounded like you were saying that you bring you would bring a girl. To to your house around your family to like see how she is and how she handles your family and then you said and then and i might have missed it but then you said and then you know like my grandmother she'll tell you if you like you look like a slut or you dressing like a slut i forget how you used it the first yeah. time so to me she, she'll be like yeah you, you dress one, like, you I'm like, like why would you bring a girl around your family that would be dressed like a slut anyway, but because I'm going to the because I'm going to the barbecue and it ain't about the girl. It's just about hey, you rolling it. I'm going to the barbecue. You can come if you want to. Oh, I just I mean, see, you see for some reason y'all think that y'all think that this is the movies, and just because a person come around your family don't necessarily mean that I'm checking for. Her. I'm going to get something That's to eat. We going to play spades, and we about to go have some fun. Now, if you want to come too, then we then we all can roll. But that don't mean that I'm necessarily checking for you either. Well, then I misheard how you said it. It sounded like you were saying a part of seeing how the chick, you know, gets along and, and to see if she yeah, let like her, let her rock out. Is bring her around your family. 100%. So I thought I thought you were doing that as a way of determining if she's anybody. But no, you also like said where's a place to go? And that's fine and free.